Application of factoring question 9. A parabola has equation y equals to x square plus 13x minus 14. Factor and identify the x intercepts of the parabola. Well, first thing you should know is what is x intercept? x intercepts are the points where the graph of the parabola will cross x-axis. So those are the points. So at these points, value of y should be 0, right? So we can equate y equals to 0 and find the value of x for which y is 0 to get the x-intercept, okay? So that is the policy which we are going to follow. So we say, well, at x-intercept, y is equal to 0, right? So therefore, we'll equate 0 here and factor the right hand side. So we get 0 equals to x square plus 13x minus 14, right? So to factor this, we are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 14. So we are looking for two numbers whose product is equals to minus 14. And if you add them, you should get 13, right? So those two numbers are 14 and 1 where 14 should be positive and 1 should be negative, right? Because you need positive 13 here. So you can factor this as x plus 13 times x minus 1. So this is equal to 0, right? Now, when can this be 0? So for that to be 0, you can have x plus 3 equals to 13 equals to 0 or x minus 1 equal to 0, right? So let's equate and find out what x could be. So we have x plus 13 equals to 0, or we have x minus 1 equals to 0, right? x minus 1 equals to 0 means x is equals to 1. So that is one of the x-intercepts. The other one is x equals to minus 13. So that's the other x-intercept, correct? So if you sketch this parabola, let's do it here, then you'll get a graph of the function where the x-intercepts are at minus 13 and 1, right? So it'll be kind of like this. Where this point is minus 13. And this point is plus 1. And that's our x-axis. And this is y. So that is how your parabola is going to look. And these are the points which we are looking for, right? So the answer is x intercepts are at x equals to minus 13 and plus 1.